All right, um, hey guys, <laughs> it's Dia here. As you can see, we are back in the uh, the home setting, back home well, for me, anyways. And yeah, um, I've gone ahead and sorted through all the things that I got today um, over at PAX, and I've gone ahead and laid them on my bed, but that's right behind me. Um, and I guess we'll go ahead and go through bit by bit. I'll obviously um, for you guys, anyways, as I go through the items. Um, and it's gonna be like oh, okay here's this here's that instead of watching me having to get back so up and down and up and down having to like move things around and whatnot um so that's what i'm going to be do that's what i'm going to go ahead and do now so i'm going to start with the things that are closest to me and then the further they are then yeah obviously you'll see a bit of the cut um but there you go i'm gonna <laughs> yeah so i guess one of the first things that i ended up getting or oh, that one to just show off is, I guess, a tote bag <laughs> of a PC uh, CG, PC case gear. I didn't realize I actually had this until just now. So uh, that's neat. Um, again, it's just a normal tote bag. I, I don't know why. Um, and then what was in that tote bag was this, the HyperX. Um, I, I don't know what this is called. Uh, another bag. <laughs> and another bag um, we're all gamers so it's really nice design and uh, so that's pretty neat um, and two other things no a few other things from HyperX actually uh, first one is this oh gosh HyperX backpack um, I have no idea how much how good the quality is but from the weight itself I can you can kind of tell it's decent um, and from the size of it as well, it is rather big. So that's quite nice um, to go ahead and get. Um, and another, oh, there you go. And uh, it was also the 20, 20th uh, anniversary as well. So they had a little booth up where go ahead and taking pictures. Um, and that, that's it. I've gone ahead and taken a couple of those. Um, one in the middle, one showing me on the right, and another one of holding the two the bag and the other item that I got so I'll put that a bit closer for you guys to see there you go so that's really nice nice and all that souvenir thing um and yet and the other thing was this actually oh geez so you saw one of them was that I was holding my hand was the backpack the other one is this a HyperX hoodie or jacket of some kind it, this is zipper so yeah <laughs> it's not really considered a uh, hoodie anymore, it's just a jacket and it's um, I believe XS to XL uh, of a size um, so that's that's a bit annoying it's it's too big for me but yeah <laughs> so there's that um, and the funny thing is is that actually let me go ahead and grab where's the, the other okay anyways um, I'll just I'll go ahead and quickly explain um, how I managed to get the uh, uh, the jacket and the backpack and that is because I went ahead and bought something else that I'll show in a sec um, and then uh, that gave me entry to a raffle um, I no longer have the ticket unfortunately <laughs> but um, basically you know it's like a normal raffle um, you go ahead and you know, give a number and then there's some prizes to be won and um, yeah first prize was I guess a miscellaneous kit of keyboard mouse um, headset and mic um, second prize was something else like minus minus something from from those four um, and then third prize was just I believe the it's either just the keyboard or just the mic one of them and then four four uh, prizes four places obviously it's just the hoodie and the backpack and I guess the uh, that other bag <laughs> Um, so there's that. Um, so I ended up winning. I didn't think I would win because I my my luck with these is really bad, as they tend to be no matter what. So it was really nice, and then like I was everybody around me was like really hyped up. It was great. I didn't record it, um, unfortunately because it was like quite packed. But it was like envy, like all like side pretty much side side. So I couldn't like hold my take my phone out and record the whole thing, uh, which is unfortunate. But it was it was a really nice experience for everybody. It was just like yeah or something here yeah. um and there were like a couple of girls like right in front of me i guess to my like one two o'clock around that area and they were like they were all also cheering and it's like yeah good job oh my gosh and all that 
Uh, <laughs> so that was really nice. That was really nice. Um, so yeah, I'll go ahead and show you what I um, got, uh, what I bought, I should say. All right, so this is it. This is what I ended up buying. Um, it is the HyperX Alloy Origins 65 mechanical keyboard. Um, they were on sale, I believe. Hang on a sec. They were... Let me find it. Okay, yep. So it would have been 159 um, at retail, but obviously at packs they usually sell them at cheaper. So I uh, instead got it for seventy nine. So I I pretty much just paid half off, <laughs> half off, um, which was really nice. Yeah, and considering I uh, never, I guess I, I wouldn't, I normally wouldn't get myself a mechanical keyboard. Um, but I figured you know what, um, just so that it's slightly better, and I can I probably only use it when I game. Um, just may as well just go ahead and buy it while it's there. Uh, and again, it's half off. It's half off. Um, and both the uh, switches that I got are the red. Yeah, the red switches. Um, but yeah, but yeah, as you can see on the top of there, it says petite 65%. Form factor, no idea what that means. <laughs> but um, from the options they had, I figured this was like the best one. one mostly because the fact that it's the <laughs> the only one that was on sale. Jeez, I nearly sneeze. Uh, well, the only one of the two that was on sale. The other one that I would have um, gone ahead and bought would have been the uh, a different one, the Alloy MKW one hundred. Um, would have gone that, but then they were they sold out. So, <laughs> so yeah, that was a bit unfortunate. But yeah, I guess the next best thing, really. So there's that. Um, what else? Uh, yes, another thing that I guess I'm end up getting from HyperX is that after doing this, supposedly you have to like um, show, like tweet it out. Um, and they'll, you will receive a random keycap. However, the uh, only sad thing is that um, by the time I got it and done it, they only had one type of keycap. And that was this keycap that just says 20, um, which is really nice, really nice. Um, not bad for the design as well and stuff. We got the HyperX logo there. And, um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. So there's that. Um, and that's everything in terms of, oh no, wait, there was one more. What is it? Hmm. Ah, yeah, this. <laughs> All right, so um, also as a gift thing, I don't, I, can, I have no idea what this is. Um, I couldn't tell what it was at all, um, but it's pretty much this. Nice little. I, 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 it could be a. I guess it's just a, a cable. Realistically, it's just a cable. The only difference is, is that instead of I guess one USB coming up on the other end and everything else on the way they are, um, they instead just gone ahead and put all of them on one end, which I don't really see why they did. Um, but I guess it's, 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 it's that, like I'm not going to complain. Um, it's meant to be a comp... Oh, it does say on here, it says I HyperX 3, 3-in-1, multi-charging cable. Right, okay. But still, the design's absolutely terrible. But it's good though, because they included, um, obviously USB-C to micro, I believe, and then two other ones that I have no idea. I know one's for Apple. I don't use Apple, <laughs> and I don't know what the other one is, but yeah, I guess there's that. Um, go ahead and remove these, um, and oh, actually no, before I before I remove them, these goodness, these were the bags that they came with, um, which is really really nice, nice big red ones that came out with when I bought the keyboard. And when I won the prize, it came in this bag, which is, again, very nice design. So I'm going to go ahead and keep them. Um, I highly doubt I will use them, <laughs> but I'm going to go ahead and keep them. Oh, jeez. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and move on to the uh, next things. Um, and then we'll just go on from there. All right. So <laughs> um, Next thing on is the uh, that I mentioned before in the uh, earlier in the video is that I bought, got and bought this. This is the only uh, TCG thing, 
the only Pokemon TCG product that I bought. Um, I didn't really have time to look for anything else because I could, but then there were just a lot of people there and I forgot to go back. <laughs> um, but yeah, other than that, this is the only thing I got that I believe was uh, worth buying. Um, I think I'm going for like 30 bucks, which is again really nice. Rather than like, I don't know, I guess this would retail go for like 40, maybe. 40, 45 ish, possibly more. Um, but yeah, so I and got this. Um, another thing that I put, uh, two other things I should say that I end up buying um, there at uh, different booths, different game booths, is first one is this, a game called Yamcha. So it's okay. You, it's probably better if you guys like go ahead and look up what it um what it how what the, what it is but the i guess the closest thing that i can probably ex um, relate it to is the game called sushi go um so you're gonna have played that before you can kind of understand somewhat when you're reading through the uh, rules and how to play uh for this uh for this game it's quite nice it's quite nice um when they played around and they said oh you know i just go ahead and buy this because it is different it is different from Sushi Go, and this is what what was it? The guy said that this is their first edition as well. I, I don't see anywhere this says first edition, but <laughs> um, they go ahead and got that, and they also it also came with a tiny little pin, came with a tiny little pin that says Yamcha Packs uh, 2022. So yeah, there you go. And apparently there's also this like golden card that says first edition, um, in in the box. So there's that, and the other game that I got, <laughs> I'm gonna close up the price, but it's a game called Red Flags, um, it's a, you have the game of terrible dates, and for those who don't know, you get, um, you have to pretty much, how is this? I don't know, you guys can easily read it out, <laughs> but uh, yeah, Red Flags, the game of terrible dates, there's that, I went and bought that. Um, now, the PAX related things, PAX official merch, um, that was the first thing that I went to, that you probably saw, um, early in the video. That hey guys, Future Dia here, now just a quick heads up, um, when I said in the, earlier in the video, it actually means in the previous video, I guess not, because I decided to go ahead and split them up. That was the first thing I went to, <laughs> and... My goodness, I, and my gosh, I spent a lot there already. But um, before I quickly show any of the merch, I'm just going to quickly show, I guess, their booklet type thing. Um, it's really nice, uh, really, really great design. Um, I actually showed the whole map and everything, and they also included this, which is, again, really, really nice. Um, so really love that. Now, again, I'm only going, I only went today, on, on Saturday, um, so I... They didn't really mean it, all of it, but again, it's a nice thing to actually go ahead and keep and have. Um, let me show you the bags first. So this is just, finally enough, this is their bag that they get <laughs> when we were buying anything. So that, that was kind of funny because I thought it would be something much cooler, but no, it was just this. <laughs> it was just this. Um, so yeah, not much there. And the other two things, the things I've bought, actually were three things three things two were shirts and one was a well a set of pins that i guess technically could be used for trading but i'm not going to use them for trading i'm going to keep them and here are the pins it's really nice nice and simple it has says packs 2022 um in a bunch of different ways in their i guess this year's theme so there's that and the other two things is the other two shirts I'm not going to take them out of the packaging, by the way. I'm just going to keep them in the packaging. Um, then I'm going to do the same as with the uh, backpack and the hoodie. I'm going to put them back in the packaging. But there you go. Nice is one of them. Um, and the other one is just a nice simple uh, PAX 2022 Oz in uh, Melbourne, Victoria. Um, but yeah, there you go. <laughs> well, obviously, for, for those who go to PAX, you know that it's down in Melbourne, Victoria. So... And I'm not really like telling, saying exactly where I live. <laughs> you just know the state. Um, but there's that. That is it in terms of packs related things. It was really expensive. So I was like, because I was contemplating which 
should go ahead. I was just gonna get one. I decided, you know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and get two, um, and just just be done with it. <laughs> um, and uh, and yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, grab the rest of the things. And is there much? No, there's only I believe. Yeah, one more, I guess, set up things. And yeah, we should be done with the uh, reveal. So I will be right back. All right, so um, last thing. <laughs> last thing, I just realized that the phone, I think I set the uh, my phone a bit too high. Yes, I'm using my phone to record. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so last thing is pretty much, and I, I'm pretty sure I've, I've said it too many times in the video, but I'm gonna keep on saying it, uh, is I, um, things, the things from uh, the Team Power uh, meetup or the little booth that they had. Um, I haven't actually looked through it, <laughs> so I'm actually gonna, I guess, show you guys the things that I know and then uh, show you the rest um, as we go along. So they had this poster included. Oh, and by the way, I, um, I actually ended up buying like this $5 like guaranteed at an entry. And that apparently guaranteed me like a number of things, including this poster. So that was really nice, um, just for like five bucks. So it's really, really nice. Um, and yeah, so this is obviously Team Power, um, all the members. Now, unfortunately, I missed out on getting how many? One, two, three people, I believe. Three or four people, yeah. Um, because they, they just went there and I, I did one. Yeah, <laughs> um, they just went there, and by the time I go, I went back. Um, they were pretty much close. I didn't want to stick around and try to waste more time or and make it things slightly more complicated. So there's that. So unfortunately, um, if the uh, members of Team Power do end up seeing this video at all, <laughs> um, yeah, I'm sorry to whoever it was uh, who asked me to. Who was it again? It was. The middle guy down here was the middle guy, right there. He told me to get signatures of all the members, and I uh, I failed you. So <laughs> yeah, because I I think I believe I ended up just spotting Mitch in the hall, like in the exhibition hall, but he was like too far away. It was way too crowded, so I I just didn't yeah. I, I was I just thought you know what I I was uh, I'm fine. <laughs> I don't need all the members. Um, but again, by the off chance that any, any of you see it, yeah, <laughs> um, I guess just hit me up, I don't know, if you want to go ahead and finish signing this, it's very unlikely, but, yeah, <laughs> uh, what else, what is this name? um, yes, so, I don't know what this is, so, <laughs> another thing that came in the uh, bag that they provided is this power sticker pack, Volume 2.02. So just that nice sticker pack. Again, most of these things, we're just gonna, I'm gonna like put them away in, in boxes and whatnot, never touching them. Um, but yeah, it's a nice little sticker pack. So there's that, Didn't, don't really care that much about it. Um, and then this was the bag. This was the bag that came in it. Uh, so really nice, really nice is, is the bag, the five dollar bag. And <laughs> I, um, so, Vic Star and Preston showed up. <laughs> I didn't know that they were going to show up, but they did. Um, and since I didn't have anything prepared for them to sign, I was just like, you know what? What's the easiest thing for them to sign? And there you go. So Preston is up there, and Vic Star is down there. So, actually, it would have been great if I actually grabbed Lockies as well, but. Oh well, I'm it's it's I'm I'm happy with this. <laughs> um, oh my gosh. Um, so obviously I explained it again early in the video, but let's quickly uh, show the rest of the things before I continue talking. So I went ahead and bought a an official I guess T-shirt or hoodie uh, from them, and it is this. <laughs> Again, geez, this is just gonna keep state wrapped. So, let me show. I believe they gave a a little like thing to show all the products that they have. Where is it? I don't know where it is, but I'll probably find it. 
Um, but yeah, they pretty much have the list of items um, that when one to get to the uh, counter, to just go ahead and tell them, okay, this, 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 and that's it. Um, and yeah, that's that was the only thing I wanted because that cost me, I think, seventy bucks. <laughs> seventy bucks just for shit. Like, oh. But again, it's like an official thing, so it's like I guess. Uh, and yeah, at the, at the end, it's like whatever. <laughs> Oh, so I got this, the flank. I got a, I don't know what this is, some sort of cloth. So there's that. What else did I get? <laughs> I haven't actually looked, again, I haven't actually looked through this, these things. I mean, oh wow, this is really nice. A, a, a lanyard. Not bad. Yeah. Really not bad. Anything else though? Ah. <laughs> uh, a pen so because when i got there i didn't realize i completely when i got to the exhibition center in the morning i realized i completely forgot to bring a pen or a marker so i was like <laughs> it's so glad that uh that i actually had markers there thank goodness and um and yeah i didn't really i didn't think that they was going to be one in here so oh well <laughs> um so yeah that's pretty much everything that I got there. Um, now, <laughs> there is one more thing, actually. There is one more thing. I'm gonna go ahead and put the rest of these things back in here. I'm gonna stick that stick that thing in here as well. Just go ahead and put all these down here. I'll go ahead and clean it up after. But, so, Lachlan. I'm so, I'm so glad that I could finally had to, I, that I finally got the chance to meet you. Um, I w I didn't think you'd be there, first of all, because from the long um, from what the schedule said, you were just going to be from nine there from nine to twelve, um, and then you, after they didn't say whether or not you were going to be there, but I am I am again really really glad <laughs> that you were there because I as you saw, um, I explained um, to you as well that. Been following you for quite a while now since your Craft Battle Duty days, um, back in Minecraft, and moved on to Pokemon Go, and and now you 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 have your, 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 your own like official esports team and everything, um, <laughs> so all I have to say is um, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> I kind of can't tell, but it's right there. Thank you for signing this um, pop vinyl of Codename Elf from Fortnite. Um, <laughs> as you know, um, I, I I bought this, or oh, for those who don't know anyways, I bought this years ago uh, with the intention of actually for, for again, Lachlan to go ahead and, <laughs> and, and sign it because the way I say it, saw it was that uh, I was so far away, I couldn't really like bear any of his official merch back then. So I found the closest thing that I could, and this it was this. Um, and I've been pretty much waiting for an opportunity to uh, for for him to go ahead and sign. And he was actually pretty uh, surprised and 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 grateful that I actually brought this. Um, and he ended up taking a picture of it as well. So like, <laughs> I'm trying not to cry, <laughs> but the tears are, are coming out. Um, but yeah, I guess a bit of backstory for those uh, who don't know is that I um, <laughs> oh, <laughs> is that I um, before coming down to Australia in twenty eighteen, I was living elsewhere, um, pretty much in the middle of nowhere, uh, <laughs> and I I didn't really get a chance to um, meet a lot of people because. Um, I was just, yeah, there wasn't really a chance for me to actually go around and visit, um, go to panels and, and, and guest signings and what, what, well, whatever it is, uh, cons and conventions and all that. Only until 2019, it was actually when I went to my first ever uh, convention, which is uh, Mad Men Ending Play Fest. And, um, <laughs> and yet, yeah, knowing, seeing that... Um, there were 
um, a huge, I guess, part of my, um, I guess, middle school experience um, where they provided the content that I would uh, go in and watch, especially from the members of the pack. Um, <laughs> it was uh, it was really um, emotional, I guess, to uh, actually see three, not just one, but three out of the six um, members there. And I'd uh, gone ahead and take uh, individual photos with them as well, and one more, um, <laughs> well, there's the two of us, uh, including myself in there. So, <laughs> so, um, yeah, um, <laughs> oh, no. Knowing being being someone who hasn't really gotten a chance to do to meet a lot of people, and then finally he finally get to after again it's been like almost ten years now. <laughs> um, it's a uh, it gets you emotional. It gets you yeah. <laughs> um. But anyways, it's in um it's in its own um case now. So, <laughs> luckily for that, um, they're gonna go ahead and uh, keep it in the case and uh, pretty much put it in the box somewhere to keep it in storage or something like that. Um, and um, yeah, I think that's that's pretty much it. Um, they also had lanyards actually. Um, let me quickly grab one. There you go. So nice little lanyard that they had um, there. It says, I think it says like probably of gamers, PAX, AMD, Ryzen, Radeon, uh, on both sides of the screen. I didn't think they'd um, actually be giving these out, but they were. So I grabbed a few, <laughs> probably see down there, that little small red um, pile. Just go ahead and grab a few because they were just there. So I, I thought may as well. Um, <laughs> um, but yeah, so I'm going to quickly freshen myself up <laughs> and uh, <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna freshen myself up and then I'll be back to do, I guess, a summary of, um, of everything. Um, all right, so that's pretty much going to be it <laughs> for, um, my, my PAX experience. Um, so, and I guess, <laughs> yeah, um, on all for, for a first timer PAX, um, I guess visitor or whatever you call it, <laughs> there were a lot more things that I didn't think were a, a thing, um, so going back to the objectives, I know I mentioned it in the video, but I'm going to quickly mention it again now. Um, so I had two objectives again uh, this time. Um, same same number as back in Crunchyroll Expo. Um, first one being um, Pokemon TCG uh, products that were out of print. Um, second was go ahead and take, and take more pictures um, of cosplayers and either off or with um, and last one least is to go ahead and meet Lachlan um, <laughs> and uh, yeah I am happy I'm very glad to say that all three objectives are fulfilled <laughs> they have been met um, and my my first time as uh, PAX um, at PAX is definitely um, <laughs> It was definitely worth it. All right. Well, um, I guess. Uh, <laughs> I guess. Um, I guess. Oh, <laughs> I, I can't speak anymore. I'm getting. I'm still getting a bit. I'm still emotional. But. I suppose the next con, 
um, that's going to be in Melbourne as far as I'm aware is the Aussie Comic Con. Um, I don't know when exactly it's going, I don't, I don't know when it is. I just know that it's in a couple of months time. I'm not too sure. Um, so don't quote me on that. <laughs> and um, yeah. Um, <laughs> oh gosh. Um, <laughs> ah, I'm, I'm starting to cry again. I guess um I guess it's time to um to end the video. <sighs> um so I guess uh all that's left to say is um <laughs> thank you all for watching and I will see you all next time. And this is Diamond just signing out.